Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tim May with LettermanRoad.com. This is a little injury update for you for Ohio State, number three ranked in the country, going into its first road game of the year this afternoon uh, at Michigan State, up here from my hotel room. I'll just let you know that uh, Ohio State has has issued uh, an availability list, and as was rumored uh, late yesterday afternoon and confirmed this morning by Ohio State, uh, Mayan Williams, the star of last week's uh, win over Rutgers with a school record tying five touchdown performance in that game, uh, plus career high of uh, 21 carries and 189 yards. He's not going to be available today. In fact, he didn't make the trip. Uh, also not available will be Jackson Smith and Jigba. Uh, as you know, he's been dealing with a hamstring situation, tried to come back against Toledo after injuring it in the season opener against Notre Dame. That didn't work. And and now I do believe the thought is he, he gets past this weekend, gets through next week, next week's off week, and uh, sh there's a good chance he could be good to go against Iowa. Same thing with Mayan Williams. The way I understand it, this is, um, you know, these guys deal with a lot of nagging injuries, some of them which are lingering uh, at times. And, you know, he was a workhorse definitely against Rutgers, and uh, apparently he dinged something that uh, has bothered him for a while. So more than anything else, uh, they're keeping him out today. I, I would say it's precautionary. It's more like he definitely needs to sit out, the way I understand it. But, of course, that clears the way for Trevion Henderson's a big return. Saw him get off the bus up here yesterday. Did not see Mayan Williams. Wasn't really looking for him. You know, uh, you know, I wouldn't take in a census of everybody. But Trevion Henderson seemed to be in good spirits and seemed to be ready to go. He missed uh, last week's game after tweaking a what we believe to be a foot injury in pregame warm-ups of all times. Uh, but then past that, you know, there are no real surprises on the uh, on the uh, availability list. Uh, everybody who's been on there before is pretty much on there still, including Jordan Hancock, the talented backup cornerback who they hope to get get back also sooner rather than later. Uh, you know, Ryan Day indicator in the week that this probably wouldn't be the week for that. But uh, in two weeks, uh, and well, yeah, two weeks' time, I guess it would be by the calendar, uh, there's a good chance he could be in the depth chart against Iowa. So, you know, I hope you look forward to today's game. Like I said, Ohio State's first road game of the year. Uh, remarkable five-game homestand to start the year. It's only been done uh, three two other times by Ohio State. But of course, you know, the Buckeyes are now 5-0, and number three in the country. Uh, behind Alabama and Georgia, and uh, you know, heavy favorites today, but uh, the road is sometimes a precarious place, especially uh, in games against Michigan State. Actually, games against Michigan State, both home and on the road, sometimes have been tricky, as you well know. But the last couple of years, they have not been. And, of course, the last time Ohio State came up here, came, come on, came up here uh, Ryan Day was one of the ones on the uh, unavailable list. He had to sit and watch – that game two years ago from his basement along with his son because he was dealing with COVID. Of course, what he saw that day was Ohio State handled business with quite a few starters missing, including most of the offensive line. Uh, but what he also saw was C.J. Stroud run for a long touchdown. Uh, C.J. Stroud, of course, did not attempt to pass in that game uh, in, in relief of, uh, of Justin Fields. But, you know, he showed his athletic ability and uh, quickly got the uh, reputation, man, what a runner, but can he throw? Now it's what a passer, but he hardly ever he hardly ever runs. Uh, but so it so so it is with a talent like C.J. Stroud throwing the ball. But we look forward to bringing you updates through the uh, game. Uh, you can follow me and Spencer Holbrook on Twitter, uh, our Twitter accounts, and also at LettermanRoad.com. And of course, we'll have a wrap up uh, when this game is done. So until then. This is Tim May for LettermanRoad.com. We'll see you then.